It's Riley Rose and Seamus on Hit 104.9. Hey, y'all. We do this every Thursday. We catch up with our friend Stephen for In Case You Missed It. He's uh, in the know when it comes to television and TV shows and Netflix shows and stand shows and pretty much everything. And he's on the phone now. Good morning, Stephen. Morning, guys. How are we? Good. Now, did you have a big weekend? Because I heard on my Facebook page I saw you went to Mardi Gras. Yes, um, massive weekend. You can probably hear it in my voice. I'm still recovering. <laughs> oh, good boy. What was it like, Stephen? Was it fun? Um, it was awesome. It was actually my first one. So um, it was the 40th year and the amazing and gay icon Cher was there and oh. everyone was just gagging for that. So that yeah, was amazing. totally. That would have been a once in a lifetime, man. Hey, in case you missed it, uh, you know, let's talk about Grace and Frank. We spoke, we touched on this last week. Um, you've seen it. I've read the synopsis. Yep. Sounds amazing. Tell us about it. Yeah, this is probably one of my all-time favourite shows. Um, it's, a, it's a comedy. Uh, we kind of mentioned it last week. It explores the lives of two women, which is played by Jane Fonda, who I'm sure everyone knows from her amazing aerobic videos, and yeah. Lily Tomlin. Um, so this show explores the theme of, I guess, ageing, Um, loneliness, love, sexuality, and friendship. And in the first season, we see um, the two ladies, their husbands who work together and decide to leave them to be together um, and get married, uh, leaving these two women on their own, kind of fending for themselves now. Okay, we've actually got a little bit of uh, that very scene that you're talking about, Stephen. Take a listen to this. We want to talk to you about something. Saul and I are in love. Excuse me? You're gay. We want to get married. Oh, married. Because we can do that now. I know. I hosted that fundraiser. <laughs> Sounds so that much fun. Is that, does that happen in like literally the first episode? Yeah. Um, oh. Episode one is just this coming coming out and um, just them kind of dealing with it. And that was Lily Tomlin and she's actually just hilarious all the way through. That's so good. What do you think, Steve? So have you watched the whole season? Yeah, so they're actually, um, they released season four in um, January this year. So I'm, I'm up to date. So it kind of yeah, explores all of that. Plus, kind of shows the lives of the kids as well. Um, they've got this three kids each and yeah. I get worried amazing. about some of these seasons sometimes when, you know, the heart of the premise and the real gold is in the first episode. It's yeah. like, how are they going to do four seasons? This yeah. sounds boring, but they keep coming up with good stuff. Yeah, um, a few things changed throughout. So it kind of focuses a, by season three away from the ex-husbands and more to the women who are trying to, I guess, um, be independent and actually start their own business and then the issues around being older women trying to get into business and especially their business idea. Um, maybe a little difficult to take off when they're a bit older. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. It sounds fantastic. Sounds like a feel-good TV show. Stephen, thank you so much for catching up with us this morning, uh, especially because you're still recovering from Mardi <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, thank you, guys. Get through it, brother. Thanks, yeah. mate. Have some, um, have some oh, I don't know, what do you drink when you... Yeah, have a Barocca. Have a Coke, Coca-Cola. Have a Coke <laughs> and a smile. It's Riley Rose and Seamus on hit. Riley Rose.